Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauty's World. So today I got episode five of my eBay haul and I'm sure you guys are gonna love today's pick so make sure you stay tuned. All right, so the first item I wanna show you is a blush palette and the packaging looks like that, very basic. And here is what the container looks like and this is what it looks like on the inside. It comes with a clear sheet on it and here is all the beautiful shades, you guys. So if you love blushes, you would love this palette. And they're very pigmented. So I swatched a few of the shades. Let's go ahead and see how it looks on the skin. So my first thoughts is that it's very chalky, but it is pigmented. It is definitely pigmented and it will do the job. So other than it being a bit chalky, I think it's still worth the buy because it's still very pigmented and it's gonna look good on the skin. And this ran me $7.05. I think that's a great deal because you get 10 shades for less than a dollar each and they're pretty big. They're like the size of the Makeup Forever eyeshadows. I think that'll be the perfect example of the sizing on these. I think this palette is perfect for a makeup artist or just a person who loves blushes and you wanna have a selection of blushes without breaking the bank this would be perfect. And I've seen a lot of companies have these types of palettes that sell it for way more than what I got it off of eBay. I'm gonna give this a four out of five because I love it. I love having all my blushes in one palette. It's pigmented, it's cheap, and you know, it's very convenient. So the next item is like a light up flower string. It's all tied up in there, but it does, you know, come all the way out and you can put it anywhere in your room. And this does have lights on it. I don't have the batteries in it right now, so you would see it, but I really, really love this. You can put it anywhere in your room and make it look extra nice and girly. The flowers on it are well made. It's soft. It looks like it's going to be a long string on it, so you're going to get a lot of length to it. And the string goes to 86 inches, so you're going to get a lot of coverage. So there it is in its glory. It looks so good. I love the way the flowers light up. It's so pretty. So you see there, they light up perfectly. And it also has another setting on it. It has a blinking setting. But it does come in different colors. I decided to get white because, you know, most of my stuff in my room is white and I just thought, you know, I just want it white. I don't know why. <laughs> and here is the price that I got it for. Uh, the shipping did take a while. It took over a month to get. So shipping wise, that suck. But product wise, I really do like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a three out of five because shipping just took way too long. So I'm gonna have to just give that a three out of five. The third item are gonna be some liquid lipsticks. I know you guys love when I show you liquid lipsticks. And this brand is Italia Deluxe and it's called Matte to Last smooth suede and it comes with 24 pieces and it's a full range of colors you're gonna have everything that you would need in this range you have all your reds your corals your your oranges your pinks your purples your nudes you just have everything that you would need with this set and this set only cost me $40 so that is like a dollar sixty each for each of these now, when I first got it, I paid $3 each for the set because I didn't find the better deal at first. So I ended up paying around $80 for these particular ones, but then later on I found it for, you know, $40 for the set. Of course, I was bummed. Yeah, I'm kind of pissed off about that, but I'll get over it. At least you guys can get the better deal. And these was fast shipping, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a close up. All right, so we have here this beautiful eggplant shade, and this one is called Rebel. So there is the packaging. It's a cool packaging. Can't ask for too much for $1.60. It has 0.21 ounces of product inside. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So here's what the Dofa applicator looks like. It's cool. I think it'll do. Now it's time to give a little swatch. So there are the swatches. I don't think I did that too good. Let me do it one more time. So we're gonna try that again because I had it at a weird angle. So, yep. It's not as pigmented as I would like it to be, but it'll do the job. You're just probably gonna have to let it dry first and then go in with another layer. 
So we're gonna just see how it looks once it dries down. It doesn't have a smell. So, you know, at least it's not bad. You're not gonna have a bad plastic smell. It just so it really doesn't have a smell to it. So the first one there has dried down a little bit. So there it is. You see one wet and one dry. You know, I think it's good. If I go over this with another layer, it's gonna have the full opacity. Um, doesn't feel bad. So I'm gonna give this line a three out of five. I love that it has a full color range. I love that it's only $1.60 each. I would definitely recommend these to you guys. So if you wanna see swatches of this brand, let me know in the comment section below. And like I said in my last video, I'm thinking about doing a mini series on all the eBay liquid lipsticks that I have so you can see exactly how each color looks. So let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see this brand swatched. So next I'm gonna be showing you my display of the day and today's display is going to be my lipstick rack. So out of all of my displays, this is my favorite one. It holds 110 or maybe 118 lipsticks. It has a MAC logo on there. It's very well made, it's sturdy, it's very heavy. So it's gonna last the test of time. So I love this display. And I paid around $600 for this, the most expensive yet. Here is it from the side, the back. So of course my displays always get a five out of five. We're not gonna argue, five out of five. All right, so today's dupe alert is gonna be the NARS brushes and I have four here. These are the four brushes that I have. So the first brush here cost me $2.66. Retailed on the NARS website, this cost $55. The next brush here is a powder brush and this one cost me $3.69. It retails for $55 on the NARS website. This little fluffy brush here cost me $2.49. On the site, this brush does not exist, so I'm guessing this is not a real NARS brush. And the last one here, the Eda brush that everybody loves, and this one cost me $2.96. It's on the website for $55. And quality wise, most of these are very well made. Especially the Eda brush. It is like a dead on dupe if it's not real. I can't even tell a difference in this one at all. These particular ones, I do see a little bit of a difference in this one right here. I'll call this one my highlight brush because that's what I use it for. You can use it for like uh, blush, anything, but I use this one for highlight, and it does have little minor differences. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the real ones that I own. So here is the NARS Eda brush that I got off the NARS website. I'm gonna put it right here. Next, I'm gonna show you the highlighting one that I use. I'm gonna put it next to that one. And next, I have the powder brush. Put it next to that one. I also have one more of their brushes, but I didn't purchase this particular brush on eBay, but I will show you guys what it looks like. So that is all the brushes. The all right, so of course this one is definitely different, so it's not a dead on dupe for sizing wise, but all of the hairs on the brushes, they feel like the exact same. So the hairs are definitely good on them. The quality of the wrap, you know, there are minor defects in them. So these could be real NARS brushes, but since they had little defects, you know, they could have just sold it for a cheaper price. I'm not sure. This is what I'm guessing because they do look like, you know, the same brushes because the hairs are like the exact same hairs. But you see, sizing wise, it is different than the real one here. This one, the only difference that I see is the color in the wrap. This one is a little bit more brown tone and this is more like a cool, you know, grayish black tone. That's the only difference I see in that one. This one, it also has that brown tone to it, which it should have the more cool black tone. And the last one, this one is like a straight up dupe. There's nothing different in it. I mean, it looks a little different right now because this one is old, 
but brand new it looks just like that one but there you have it there is the dupe alert so I'm gonna give these a four out of five the quality looks good it looks almost dead on to the ones that I got from NARS so I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five the reason I'm not gonna give it a five is because I don't know if it's legitimate or not so so that is it for today's eBay finds. Let me know your favorite picks. Let me know if you want those lip swatches. And make sure you send me your recommendations on items that you want me to check out. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any new videos. So like this video if you're enjoying the series still. Follow me on my social media networks. That's and it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.